how to pray with salt, sand, and ashes or charcoal in order to get prosperity, to break away from shams, spells, invocations, witchcraft attack, poverty, disappointment, failure, promise and fail, and other menace. Spiritual benefits of praying with sand, salt, and ashes. By God's grace, in today's video, I am making this video still in relation with the fasting and prayer program that we are into. Believing God, that God in his infinite mercy will fight all our battles and give us a victory. Believe me that this world we have come into, God has given it to us to enjoy it, to subdue and dominate. But one of the problems we have in this world is both seen and unseen battles sponsored by evil people, witchcraft people, evil spirits, and these tend to debar and hinder us from possessing our possession. But if we learn and know how we can actually harness nature, because God cannot actually do anything on this earth without our permission and with our cooperation of what he has created. And that is why for Jesus, the first ever miracle Jesus did on this earth, he has to convert water into wine. That water did not fall from heaven. It is actually on this earth. And for Jesus to start his ministry, he has to be baptized in river Jordan, baptizing into nature. That is to tell you that nature has a key role to play in our survival uh, in this world. So in relation to our fasting and prayer program, you need to do this. Pray with these three things because one of the things that actually help us to win our battles is when we connect the four elements of nature, the four elements from which human beings come from, which are the air, the earth, the fire, and the water. Now, praying with ash connotes fire element. Now, praying with sand connotes earth element. And then, praying with salt connotes water element. And we all know that without air, ash will not be gotten. And then by the time we, we use water to bed, because there is going to be bed in this prayer, you will actually see that the four elements has come into play. So if only you can follow me to the end of today's video, I will teach you how you can actually pray with sand, salt, and ashes, and get your liberation immediately. So welcome once again, Jenny Action TV, in this particular channel. I'll discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this story correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit. It becomes your starting point. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do wait to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always coming by. For my new timers, if you are searching for any video, just go through the search button in YouTube and the type cleansing because actually that is where your spiritual journey is supposed to start and cleansing is a continuous process from time to time you will still cleanse so you will watch and get value so without actually wasting our time let's delve into the video okay so by god's grace we know that today is the third day of that of this our particular fasting and prayer depending on those who started when we are started if you have not started you can start at your own pace and still do the same thing Know that uh, uh, being a Wednesday, it is actually controlled by earth and the water element. It will be good that we use things that connect earth and water to make prayer. On that note, I bring to you using sand, which is earth element, and then using salt, kitchen salt, because this one requires kitchen salt, because that is what everybody is eating, and then ashes. And where you don't have ash, for some that are in abroad that will tell me that they don't have ash, replace it with what? Shako. But you have to a kind of a pound it to make it powder. Now, like I normally tell you that everything is energy in this earth. Now, what energy are you connecting here? Know this for sure that every human being you see on this earth actually comes from sand and marshy sand have contact with sand. Every spirit that is operating in this earth, both animals, whether they call themselves witches or wizards, they all have contact with it. Sand. And sand is the symbol authority of the earth. 
So anything that connects the earth connects sand. And apart from that, even every project that is done in this world is actually done on sand. If you want to be riding a plane, after riding all that plane, it will still fall on sand. Riding moto car, all we uh, start from there land and so on and so forth apart from that you discover that every human being you see on this earth has has eaten salt even if they say because of sickness and other challenges they have stopped they must have eaten salt and like a tomo i know my uh, tells you that it is human being that god has given the capacity to dwell on this earth but and that any spirit troubling you has been empowered by human being. If human being did not empower them, they will not have the power to fight you. So, and again, for any human being you see on this earth, they have eaten food one way or the other that is made from either a, a, a using firewood that the end product is charcoal or ashes. Some, if they are not eating it based on the fact that they go to a hotel to eat it, one way or the other, they have eaten one roasted thing or the other. They have eaten shawarma and some other things. And all those things are come from shakul, come from a, a kind of firewood. Which end product is either shakul or ash? So this is the energy you are going to connect to make a, this prayer. Now, how do you actually use this tray to make your prayer? When you have come out in the midnight and you have finished making your prayers then you are going to get a bowl it must not be a transparent bowl any bowl you have whether rubber stainless but let it not be black bowl then you now get a handful of sand and put in a bowl like this then get a three uh, full spoon of kitchen salt so you can actually buy a separate salt that is not from your kitchen for your spiritual work then get a flat plate and fortify it for spiritual use by drawing one cross in the middle, meaning that you are cancelling out every manufacturer's impurity and breathing inside it once, like the same way God breathed on us, and we become a living soul to make it living for your spiritual use. And then when you have done that, you pour it into that particular sand, and then you get your ash or a kind of your shako that you have smashed into powder and then put it inside that particular bowl. After you have done that, use your right middle finger and begin to mix it. When you start mixing it, you begin to pray and that you first of all ask God, bless the name of the Lord, ask him for mercy to forgive you in case there is any way you are guilty. That is why you are suffering from all this problem. Then you now say, oh God, save me from all this problem. You list that problem you prayed about and now said that the only reason why any man or woman, any spirit or force, that is behind this particular problem and suffering will be free is if they have not had contact with sand, if they have not eaten salt or they have not eaten food that the end product is charcoal or ashes, that is when they will be free. But if they have eaten it and they are responsible for all these things that I'm suffering, that I am sending all of them back to the sender, I am returning everything they have sponsored, this a, a, a lack of marriage, this backwardness, this poverty, this disappointment, this witchcraft attack, and returning everything they sponsored to me back to them, and I regain my freedom today, that I am free, because you say, if the Son of Man shall make us free, we are free indeed, and that from now onwards, any man or woman that have contact with sand, that we extend any evil arrow, or that we do anything to hurt me or that will cause any problem in my life. I declare, speak to that, oh, sand, oh, land. Sand, you are the symbol of authority of the earth. Once they come in contact with sand, open up and swallow them. Crush them into powder. And any man or woman that eats salt that is responsible for my problem, from today onwards, if they try me again, when they eat salt, salt suffocate them to death. Any man or woman that eats food and uh, you try me again, Oh, ashes, may their life turn into ashes. May their life become like shakul. And may the food suffocate them to death. And that from today, I am free and free. Please make sure your, your hand is clean. If your hand is not clean and you are praying this prayer, it's your own grave you are digging. But well, so long as your hand is clean, pray this prayer with alacrity. And believe me, hey, hey, you will be 
free and whosoever that is responsible for your problem will start suffering all the things you are suffering then when you have finished that make sure you put a full bucket of water that you are going to use to bet in the morning you may not necessarily bat that night except if you wish to bet and then touch that mixture one touch it let it touch your hand because they are mixed you use your hand and get a little of it two three and put it seven times in that water mix it in that particular water and keep it then in the morning mix it then in the morning when you have taken your normal bed use that water to rinse your body don't mind whether there is charcoal in it don't mind whether there is ashes don't mind all those things are battle that you are fighting the, the battle of a warrior is with confused noise garments are ruled in blood so when you are fighting battle, you are not looking for beauty first. When you finish the battle, your, the beauty will spread. So you allow that water to dry in your body with your soap, with your sponge, and without swelling your body. And then go your way. After like one or two hours, then you can actually rub your cream. But if you can, around 3 a.m., take that bath. It is the best for you. You believe me, you will see God in action and nature in action fighting for you. And those people that say they will not allow you to rest, they will go and rest in peace while you enjoy your life in peace on this earth. So in relation to the prayer we are making, I hereby pray for you once again. Oh God, the creator of the universe. I begin to pray, oh God, that as many, oh God, are in this channel that is passing through any form of demonic attack, that the finances are under attack, their marriage is under attack, that their, oh God, progress is under attack, the family is under attack, the children and they have sponsored drunkenness, negativity, oh God, have found a wickedness into their life. I begin to pray for liberation. I begin to pray for total deliverance. Say, if the Son of Man shall make us free, we are in free indeed. I declare freedom to everybody. And I send every evil arrow, evil projection, causes to God that anyone or woman is rendering to anybody in this particular channel, back to the sender. Locate your sender. Evil arrow. Jump out from everybody that it has been projected into and locate your sender. As many that have sent a row of death, receive death. Many that have sent a row of destruction, receive destruction. As many that have sent a row of backwardness, receive backwardness. As many that have sent a row of, oh God, evil. Let those evil begin to happen to them. I declare freedom to everybody in this channel. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I declare marriage galore to as many that are single, believing you for marriage. Let there be marriage galore. Jesus was made poor that we will be rich. I declare that no poor is permitted in this channel. Everybody in this channel will be rich. Many that are believing you for their visa, whatever power that is holding them, I declare those power, release those visas, release those visas, release it in the name of Jesus. As many that are believing you for destiny, however, so long as every human being have contact with sand, they have contact with salt, and they have, oh God, eating food, that the end product, oh God, is ashes, or shackle. Lord, I pray, provoke destiny helpers, provoke people, give people that are their rightful destiny helper no rest until they have helped them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare that no weapon fashion against us and any member of this channel will ever prosper or their family. Anyone that will rise against them in judgment, at least the judgment of God upon that man, say that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of the Lord, according to Isaiah 54 17. I say in Leviticus 2 verse 11, we overcome the enemy by words of our testimony and blood of the Lamb. Cover our life, blood of Jesus, spirit, soul, and body, blood of Jesus. Pray that that blood that speaks better this morning and the blood of righteous will never begin to speak peace, speak favor, speak connection, speak open door, speak breakthrough, speak success, speak, oh God, all round visitation upon every member of this channel in Jesus' name. Always type Amen to connect to the energy of the prayer. And believe me, you see this prayer working literally to you. And if you have had testimony so far in this particular a kind of fasting and prayer, please don't hesitate to testify because we overcome the enemy by words of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. So with this, I've come to the end of today's video, believing that someone has actually found value. If you are one of them, why not give me that thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and channel to everyone. You might actually be helping a lot of people. As you do so, may God bless you, honor you, and cause you to ride upon the high places of this earth. See your lady Jenny saying bye-bye.